Hello there, my name is Olaf Falafel and I am going to be showing you guys how to draw the main character from my new book called Blobfish. Now, the main character, here's the book, Blobfish, the main character is Blobfish, it's this Blobfish here, and it's a very fun book, it is all about a sad little fish who lives at the bottom of the sea, let me find him. There he is, and he's all alone. He's very sad and lonely, and he has no friends, so he goes off swimming, and we're gonna be drawing him now, and it is very simple. He's probably one of the most simple characters to draw. All you will need is a sheet of paper and ooh, a pencil of some kind. I'm using this thick black pencil. When I say thick, I don't mean that it's stupid. It's just quite a wide black pencil, quite a big one. And you can use some colored pencils, Colour it in as well if you want to. I will be colouring it in as well. I'll probably put that in fast forward because it takes forever colouring it, but I do enjoy it. So let's get going. So get my pencil and my sheet of paper in front of me. I'll move that to one side. Let's get going. The first thing I do is Blobfish's nose that is like, I mean, it's a curve like that really. And then either side, I will do Blobfish's eyes. And they're like semicircles, one there and one there. Now, I don't color these in completely in black. What I do is I leave a little white area like that, just to look like a little highlight in his eyes. So I draw a little circle first, and then I color in the sort of the outside. So it leaves a little white dot. That makes his eyes sparkle a little bit. And then underneath his eyes, I do a little triangle of freckles. And I do that under both eyes. And now what I'm gonna do is his mouth. Now his mouth kind of mirrors the nose, but it's not quite as curved. And it goes underneath and it sort of starts there and it goes like so. So a bit of a curved line but not quite as curved as the nose and then I go around that line to make the lips so we'll go around like a sausage shape to go around and make the lips there we go now that's his kind of face now here's a blobfish so his body basically is a blob and if your blobfish doesn't look exactly like mine then that doesn't really matter but what I do is I kind of start around here and I just go over the top in a bit of a blobby shape and then I come round the bottom and I go all the way along the bottom and then I stop about there because I'm going to put a fin like one of his flappy fin things in here and that kind of goes I get sort of a bit like this that kind of shape and then once you've done that shape draw a line in the middle that splits it in half and then draw another line in the middle of that half and then another line in the middle of that line. So you should have three lines. And we're gonna do his other fin, sort of at the back here, just sticking out the side here, a bit like that. And we're gonna do a similar thing. So we draw a line there and then we draw a line there and a line there. Now, all we need to do, this is really simple, the blobfish. He's so fun to draw because he's so splodgy and squishy and blobby. We just extend this line down a bit and we're gonna draw his tail. And his tail is just that kind of shape. And again, one more time, we do a line in the middle and then we do two more lines, one there and one there. Now that is your basic blobfish. And you can do all sorts of other things in the background. I like to draw some little sort of bits of sand. So I'll do some dots and a few little circles like that. And I also like to do some little bubbles coming out here. So some circles of different sizes, just leading a little trail all the way up. And you can draw a little horizon line in the background there. I am going to quickly color mine in. I might put this in fast forward. Obviously, you can take your time coloring yours and you don't need to watch me color mine in. And there you go, there is my finished blobfish. Please do have a go at drawing your own. Please do, if you can, 
buy a copy of the book and share your blobfishes with me. It would be lovely to see them all and it would be lovely to know what you think of my book. Cheers, guys!